Good morning, guys. It's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com. It's the Good Morning Podcast. And uh, this morning, I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit of well, a little bit of stuff around me, actually. Um, uh, some old tech. Um, I want to say, like, my first comment in my head was, like, I'm addicted to old tech. And I, I don't know. I, I guess collect is more uh, about it. I, I think I, I do have a little bit of pack rat tendencies uh, that I do need to battle through. Over the years, I have a box of things from like high school, and I'm like, "Well, I can't throw that away." But it's like, what, "Let's honestly, let's, uh, what am I going to do?" So I'm working on that. I'm working on this, and actually, I've had rounds where I've thrown a lot of that stuff away. Um, I just need about three or four more of those rounds uh, to emotionally detach from objects. Is my thing right now. But anyways, <laughs> other than that, um, no, I want to talk about like you may tell. I, I don't know if you guys are on video here. I do have. A little bit of interesting stuff going on behind me, and this is kind of, uh, you know, I like to have that little collection of things that kind of, like, everything behind me in these sets for these podcasts, uh, if you're on the video, is kind of a story. One, Spider-Man is just cool. My sister got me that for, like, my birthday last year. Um, but um, I, I want to point out, like, like I see something, I find something um here and uh and 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 i have to kind of showcase it because i'm like oh look at that thing you know especially things that were um kind of a technical marvel for their day that are definitely past their prime um to put put it that way uh you you may look back there there's a interesting old microphone that i really can't hook up to anything but it looks cool i actually was putting it in front of me during podcasts sometimes um with the actual microphone kind of behind it actually picking me up but you saw the old one and that was my look for for the podcast. Um, you know, I love that old radio, that old radio uh, uh, kind of feel uh, uh, sitting behind me here. You know, I got a cute cat. Uh, there's a cute cat dot tumblr dot com, um, which is just like pictures of the cute cat traveling around with me uh, for for a period when I first went freelance and started, you know, hitting up the coffee shops and stuff. And 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 I just took it with me and took some pictures. Um, uh, Chilla gave me a box of old tech he was getting rid of, and there's a wonderful iPack pocket PC. What are you going to do with this thing? Uh, we were looking for a bag through a bag that I think one of our former roommates left behind. And I'm like, oh, I need a bag for, for such and such when I was traveling. And and uh, we found a beeper, guys. A beeper. It's pink. So we, <laughs> so if you're an old roommate of mine and you lost a beeper, which I can't even imagine. I can, there's only one guy I can think of. Um but and you also know in a studio I've talked about you know often joking lately how I have a fifty dollar studio, um, but a lot of it is old computers that I've I've retrofuted. There's a there's a laptop up here that can do nothing but run a chat room, right? But it's another screen that has a chat room on it that I can reference, and it actually ports over to an old uh, CRT monitor that you know that the studio this the studio the audience but this, the guests can see on the other side of where i'm where i'm sitting right across from me you know many of these computers you know a lot of these running the the gang the the google hangouts are are a chord to duo you know a uh i don't even know what that is it's an amd or something that's around uh equivalent uh um you know speed and that's just running the audio backup that we're recording in case anything crashes that at least we'll have the audio since most of you guys are listening on audio anyways uh to to the shows you know when we're recording for what six seven hours on tuesday nights you know we know that's at least there that we can we can fall back to if, if wirecast crashes and we lose our video file for instance you know hong kong would um you know and, and i have another <laughs> stack of computers around here um there's a Pentium d over there there's a couple of those hp pavilions that all freaking look the same from around like 2000 to 2004 that are like Pentium twos or threes or something like that oh, so i'm not gonna get anything done with them i want to hopefully get these things out of here to construction junction junction has a great uh recycling program that does like strip them down and clear your hard drives and everything and and it takes care of that and so you know i just getting out that side of town to take care of it that's a good stack over there i really should get out there soon um i found myself with a collection of uh max um not useful Max. Uh, pre Intel Max. Um, I, we were uh, actually when I went to sit down for the raw wrap up on Monday night. I still had an iMac sitting right here on my desk. Um, I, I I finally um, I didn't have any uh, uh lion disc lion. No no is it lion? No no lions lions a digital download. Uh, Leopard, which is the top you can install on a lot of these. Um, 
And, uh, and you know, it's locked into whatever former accounts were on there. And I found a, uh, a hack to uh, kind of do a key combination, get into the command line and just release that and just reboot it basically as new. The other accounts are still there, but you get to create a new one as an administrator and you can do whatever you want, delete the other accounts. But now I can do something with it. Right. Um, and even like some of the upgrades that I've had, like I've had a key drive one, but it would only work if I'm in the operating system and I had an admin password. Right. Now I can do that. Um, and that, how useful are these older machines going to be? I don't know, but just cool to have an iMac, I think. Um, that's kind of a more collector-y thing. It's not just a random tower uh, 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 from the same era, right? Um, and uh, if nothing else, if I don't like it, I can make a fish bowl out of it, right? I can make a, a fish tank out of a, out of the iMac. You know, there's a, a dual power G4 that looks cool, you know? And maybe that's something else that will replace this computer um, and just throw a chat room on it or something. I mean, the iMac is a nice all-in-one computer that I can just stick up here and, and it could just have everything right uh, what am i trying to say I, i'm trying to confess my <laughs> sins of collection collection to you you know uh, you may st- notice if you come in the studio there's a lot of uh, interesting knickknacks around here yeah, right um but uh, uh but but i think it's useful also um because i'm a bit of a tinkerer by you know to a point you know as far as computers go i always liked uh, uh building them and opening them up and, and and replacing stuff and 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 that kind of thing and and though i've gotten away from that um certainly um if if i uh boot up a computer and throw an ubuntu key drive into it uh ubuntu linux um and it doesn't load that then there's not much use to it right i i don't have the time or effort now to really kind of tear that apart and I'm like okay what's the part maybe we should get some new memory but you know versus its usefulness you know um plus I've just kind of always seemed to acquire new ones so it's kind of not an issue you know that's why we have stuff like you know this is running um the, the, you know we have an iMac here that's from 2007 still works nothing's wrong with that and I got a little bit of tearing going on in the monitor uh on the right side of it that that's a little weird like some dead pixels or something but other than that um you know, um, I mean, hell, last, last year I finally uh, sucked up and sucked it up and, and bought a computer to run run this uh, Wirecast stuff a little more reliably. So um, even this even this laptop here, this uh, Windows 8 laptop, I was just kind of acquired from my grandfather that just could not figure it out. It was like, OK, I actually offered to buy it from him, um, but uh, but I was helping my good buddy. He was just like, here, here you go. I'm like, OK, <laughs> but uh but uh, and that's the reason I have uh, if you come in here, there's a lot of CRT monitors too because they're just acquired. I don't really spend money on monitors um, to my own detriment. But on that point, I don't know. Let's let's let me know. Do you are you collecting tech? Do you have an old laptop you can't get rid of? Um, here's a here's a tip. The laptop that I use for the uh, video screen. If you've ever been to an international wrestling cartel show down in uh, the Court Time Sports Center in Elizabeth, yeah, that's running Windows XP and. Um, I've had it for about 10 years. Still works. It is also the machine that runs the software for my printer to print the DVD discs, you know, because there's no Mac version. And uh, I've lost the disc and I don't know where to get the software from. <laughs> uh, there's versions of it, but they, ne- they don't never work as well as uh, what I have on there. So that'll be going until it just falls apart and knock on wood hopefully it's not very soon i'm not ready for another solution for that whole situation um but we're, we're actually working on a, a little bit different thing for for that setup anyways um i'm hoping to test drive here geez when do we go back there in may yeah i think we go back in may um but anyways with that well you know what are you collecting man what what cool old hardware do you have anybody have a tandy out there for instance i think i got rid of all my 486 machines for instance uh, i'm definitely doing a um you know okay uh anything uh below a gigahertz i think was my last round uh is no of no longer any 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 use to me and just letting those machines go i actually think i have like a 475 amd k62 sitting over there numbers let us know do you have anything hanging out subscribe to us on youtube just look for good i don't say good times it's the other show good morning with michael sorg on youtube and it'll come right up where that channel you can subscribe to it don't miss a video subscribe to good morning on the itunes just look up sorgatron media and you can see all of our stuff including this podcast um so until next time have a good morning This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.